Welcome back to True Treats. It's week nine and we've got the New Orleans Saints taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. We're making the crawfish boil for the New Orleans Saints. And the first thing we need to do is chop up our potatoes, artichokes, lemons, and oranges, and get those thrown into a steam pot with some garlic. Once you have the first round dropped into the steam pot, it's time to throw in some of our seasonings. Today we use some bay leaves, some Old Bay seasonings, and of course, salt and pepper. Then simply throw on the lid and give it its initial steam. The crawfish boil is considered a part of Cajun cuisine. Cajuns are French Canadians who live in the Louisiana Bayou. Since they live in the Bayou, trapping is one of their main sources for food, which is why crawfish is a large part of their diet. Cajuns are also known for their long festivals with spicy food, good music, and lots of dancing, which is where the crawfish boil is celebrated throughout. But even now today, you can find them at local churches, in parks, and at festivals all around the country. During the initial steam, prepare your second round of vegetables. Dice up your onions, chop up your mushrooms, and prepare your green beans, then throw them in for a second round of steaming. After a short time, toss in your smoked sausages, give it a minute or two, then throw in your crawfish. Once the crawfish are done, it's time to pull your steam pot out, grab a big old fork, and enjoy. For our second dish, we're making shoe fly pie for the Philadelphia Eagles. And the first thing we need to do is make the crust for our pie. So take a little salt and flour and butter and blend that together into the food processor until it starts to slowly clump up. Then slowly add your iced water and it will bound and form into the shape of a ball. Next up is the filling. Take a little baking soda and add some boiling water to it. Then slowly fold in your molasses. Once that's nice and smooth, add in a dash of vanilla and a whole egg and whisk until the whole thing is smooth and even. The origins of shoe fly pie is debatable, but it was known to be a favorite among the Pennsylvania Dutch. The original settlers in Pennsylvania were Mennonites and the Amish, who loved to bake, especially pies. Shoe fly pie was a favorite because the ingredients could last all winter long, but when baked, the molasses would attract flies and you have to shoo them away. Hence the name, shoe fly pie. Our next step is to make the topping for our shoe fly pie. A little bit of butter and flour into the food processor with some brown sugar. If you don't have brown sugar at home, you can always use white granulated sugar mixed with some of the molasses that we use for the shoe fly pie. Slowly add in your brown sugar in several phases until it starts to crumble and crisp up. You will sprinkle this on the top of your molasses filling to give it a nice crunchy top. Once the topping is done, it's time to roll out your dough, place it on top of your pie pan, form fit it, then take a fork and poke little holes all the way at the bottom to give it room to breathe and crisp up. Pre-bake that crust. As you do that, mix in part of your topping into your filling. Then you're gonna pour that into your pre-baked pie crust, put the remainder of the topping on, place in the oven to bake. When it comes out, let it cool and enjoy. Thanks for tuning in for another night of Monday Night Meals. Remember, you can always subscribe to us, like us, find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Click on the links down below for the blog and full recipes. Tune in for week 10 of Monday Night Meals, and until then, keep on cooking.